try and live with Pobelta, snags a kill. Now they have a he's gonna go down, Mike Gum swoops back in for the run to Adrian, the knockup again to channel through, the Todd is in, that's gonna be one, that should be a second Altec, that one was real good. Hey guys, Parks Owsley here, joined by Medios of 100 Thieves. After you just clinch your spot to go to the finals, uh, next week in Miami you'll be playing Liquid. Uh, first thing though, what are your immediate thoughts right after the game? Uh, how are you? How's the team? Well, I'm happy we won, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's uh, really cool to get to the finals. Mm -hmm. I guess I've never not made the finals when I was playing. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've either won the split or got second. But, you know, there were some splits where I wasn't playing, so mm -hmm. other people won. But um, it's definitely cool. I think it's cool to get here with a new team because I think that it's kind of like a nice accomplishment for myself because, you know, I always try to be a good teammate and a good player. And so it feels good to be part of a team that, like, does well. And it makes me feel like I'm contributing a positive way to the team. So feels good, man. That's awesome. Feels good, man. Um, and yeah, first split back, already back to the finals, continuing, continuing that legacy. That's great. Um, so I want to I want to talk about the series a little bit. Uh, we have analysts that'll do much better than I would, so I won't go too in depth. But before the series, um, everyone looking at Clutch as underdogs and how are they even here? Um, what was your thought? And what was the team's thought about their performance and and how you stacked up against them? I think that going into this playoffs was really weird as far as the seeding goes because you know we finished first seed for the regular split but we were like one game away from everyone else so mm -hmm. like f first seed against sixth seed sounds like we're way better than them and it should be an easy game but I don't think that's really the case I think all the teams in playoffs are pretty close mm -hmm. so yeah going up against clutch they had a really good series against TSM I think that kind of surprised everyone since, you know, TSM beat Liquid in the tiebreakers, they were really picking up steam at the end of the split. So uh, we didn't really underestimate Clutch or anything. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I guess that's, that's it. Awesome. So not underestimating them. It, it's good that you didn't because they definitely showed up today. Um, what was your thought going into game five, knowing that they had kind of turned it on, they seemed to be pretty comfortable and performing well? Well, going into game five, uh, I think we were all a little nervous, but um, I don't know. I wasn't, like, too on edge or anything. Uh, I think we all managed to stay, like, pretty relaxed during the game. And we were back on blue side, and blue side had won every game in the series thus far. So I was pretty happy about that. But uh, it definitely was a closer series than we would have liked. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's for sure. But you did come out on top, so congrats. Um, going back, what is, what's kind of your reflection on the split as a whole for yourself? I know you do still have that really important final game, um, but do you feel like you have done what you kind of set out to do when you decided to join back up? Well, I'm pretty happy with how I've done, for sure. But I think there's always more to do, and I'm, I usually try to focus on that. I think that there's still a lot that I have to learn as far as like being a teammate, a lot I can learn as a jungler, and I'm gonna keep trying to work toward that and just do the best I can and try to help the team do the best we can. So uh, I'm happy with where I'm at, but I got my like sights higher, you know? Mm -hmm. That's great to hear. Um, and you, you're also playing with um, the all pro bot lane, both Afro and Cody getting that. Um, and you just probably just won Coach of the Split. Um, so how has it kind of uh, been for you knowing that you do have these guys who are really strong? Um, has it taken any pressure off of you? Has it motivated you? Have you been able to learn more than maybe you could have if you were on another team? I think I've learned a lot from playing 100 Thieves. Uh, I think that both Prawley and Aframu have been really great influences on me and the rest of the team. I think they both have great leadership abilities and also good game knowledge. So I think they've both 
helped us a lot, and I've been able to learn a lot from working with them. Mm -hmm. And what is probably like as a coach different than others that you've had before? I think that probably is a really good coach because he has a good understanding of the game. He's usually able to point things out that we miss a lot of the time. Like if all five of us are just like, what happened this game? Probably can usually come up with some stuff that we need to work on. Mm -hmm. uh, he's also good at you know, not making people feel bad, which is a super, super underrated uh, ability because, you know, there's all the people on Reddit that will be like, oh, like, this team got outdrafted, their coach is terrible, he should just force people to play what they, what, uh, they should be playing or whatever. Mm -hmm. But in reality, like, when you're scrimming, you don't really know how good everything is. There's a lot of champs that'll just be like a total scrim god champ, mm -hmm. they'll win every scrim. But then you get on stage, and when everyone's playing a lot more respectfully, the champ's way worse. So uh, it's it's just really hard to always have the right answers. So I think it's important to be able to, like, have a good system for getting there. Like, I think probably does a good job of making sure everyone's heard and getting us to work well together. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely valuable to have in a coach. So uh, award well received for him. Um, what are your thoughts going into Liquid? You said you felt like all, the seating was actually pretty close, that all of you guys were, were pretty equal. Um, what do you think you can do to kind of take advantage of them? You know, don't give away all of your secrets, but what are your thoughts going into that? I think that Liquid's looking really good right now. And if we played against Liquid this weekend, I feel like they probably would have beat us because since they looked really good yesterday, mm -hmm. and we weren't looking that hot today. So I think we've got a lot to work on going into next week, but uh, I'm confident in my teammates. I think that we definitely can pull it out. I don't think it's like the case that we're unfavored. I think it'll be a really close series, mm -hmm. and Liquid's really good. So I'm just hoping we play our best, and if we do, I think we could probably take them. Awesome. That'll be exciting. Um, lastly, let's say you win. Um, don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but let's say you win. Who would you be excited about playing at MSI, knowing it's been kind of a while since you got to go to one of these big international tournaments? Hmm. I think playing against Fnatic would be pretty cool if we both make it there, because Cody's always really interested in what Reckless is doing, mm -hmm. and Reckless is a player that's been playing about the same amount of time I have, so he's always fun to match up against, and he's been doing really well on Fnatic, so... I'd be interested to see like how the way our team plays matches up against the way their team plays. Awesome. Um, and I asked Cody, but I want to ask you too, um, about p uh, some potential trash talk towards Team Liquid. Uh, Doublelift was quoted as saying, like, if you trash talk after, then you're just considered an asshole. So now is your chance, because um, I'm not going to ask anybody after the finals. Um, do you have any sort of trash talk at Team Liquid, any kind of fun hot takes or anything? Uh, I don't know if I have too many. Like, ah. I think they're pretty good right now. So, <laughs> fair hard, enough. Hard to say much. Very respectful. All right. Well, I'm lo I'm looking forward to that game. Um, so congratulations. Thank you. Um, and thank you guys. Uh, that does it for us. So we'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>